Hello, my dearest confidant. So let's talk about love and like how you show love, right? I mean, everybody has a different way of understanding and receiving and um, feeling loved. And the best way to love someone is the way in which they, it fills their cup, right? So one of the best interpretations of how to give and receive love is has been done in many books by Gary Chapman and I have um, a couple of them here not all of them he has a lot of different renditions for different things but the five love languages um, by Gary Chapman this was the first book I read and I read it when I got married to my now husband um, because we were having trouble with feeling loved by each other. We did love each other, right? We said it all the time. We practiced things that made us feel loved, but it wasn't necessarily in the way that the other person received love. And this comes because of uh, the different ways in which our environments brought us up, right? Our primary caregivers had different ideas about how to show love um, and so that shaped how we receive love. And so like in my household, um, I was uh, verbally put down a lot. There was, you know, things were expected of me that were like non-negotiables, right? And I'm not saying that it was good or bad, um, but if I didn't do those things, I was verbally chastised along with physically, but... Um, and so um, one of the hardest things for me was receiving love with just words. And so for me, um, I was isolated a lot as a child as well. And so for me, being able to receive love in um, the way that spoke to me was spending time with me, right? And um, I was not usually hugged or, you know, shown affection to as a child. And so as an adult, it's one of the things that, no, you love me because you show me affection, right? And so Gary Chapman talks about this stuff in this book. Um, the five languages of love are gifts, acts of service, um, quality time. Uh, what are the other ones? I'm... Physical touch and um, words of affirmation. And so for my husband, his is words of affirmation and gifts. So like even if I go to the store for two seconds, if I bring him home a candy bar or something else that let him know that I was thinking about him, that fills his love box, right? But for me, it's quality time. I don't care what we're doing, but if we are doing it together, that is quality time. And that shows me that you appreciate me you respect the fact that I value my time and how I spend it and you choose to spend it with me. Another one is physical touch, right? Like, so my husband does massages. He gives me massages because he knows that that's something that fills my box. It's not something that fills his. So in the beginning of our relationship, I wanted to massage him because that made me feel loved, but he, it's nothing to him. He doesn't care about that. And so then I had to start getting better about words of affirmation, which... It was extremely hard for me and it still is sometimes because it's not the way that I grew up, right? And so I have to make a conscious effort to speak to him in his language. Um, the five love languages um, can be used for anyone. It doesn't matter your relationship with them. If you want them to know that you appreciate them, it doesn't have to be a necessarily a love relationship, but it really goes into detail. There's a test in the book that you can take to find out what your primary love language is if you don't already know, which most people, once they get presented with the five ways, they're like, oh yeah, I know this one or this one and this one or, you know, all of them. For me, gifts is like, no, I don't need a gift. Do you don't spend some time with me. So like if you're going to go to the store and buy me something to wear versus take me to a safari park or something, like I'm going to choose the safari park because I want the quality time and like, okay, fine, it's a gift, but now we're doing something that I actually enjoy doing. And so we're doing it together. Um, there's also, like I said, there's a whole bunch of his books that are different and I'm not getting paid to say these, you know, these things about Gary Chapman. In fact, I'm not even sure if he is still alive. Um, but uh, there's the five love language, uh, military edition. I got that when I was active duty. And so there's that, um, the five love languages of apology. And so that's important too. There's one for the five love languages of children. Um, you know, so that way you know how to speak to them better. And if you haven't already 
at least gotten the basics down of what the five languages are and how to apply them and find out what's what someone's love language is, I suggest that you consider picking up this book. I'm sure there's plenty of videos and other ways to find out about the five love languages, but I really have found them beneficial in my life. Um, and, you know, getting to know someone um, and then uh, letting them know that you appreciate them, it, it really goes a much further if you do it in the way that they understand what love is. And so this is kind of an aside to, you know, what is love? But showing love, obviously, is a very important part of that. And I wanted to make sure that I went over that with you. So I love you, my dearest confidant. Until next time.